Hello everyone, my name is Kathleen Alcala. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to make a quick little um, Easter folio. I just thought these images were really cute. I know people are asking what images I use. I apologize for not being very good at that, but I'll try to do better. This one, um, this kit is coming from French Door Studios and it's really adorable. I'm going to remove this backing so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Look at, <laughs> oh my gosh, I just love that. I think they're so adorable. Anyway, I want to incorporate all of this into making a folio. So this is just cardstock. I put two pieces of 12 by 12 um, scrapbooking paper and they're a little bit thick. And I want to go ahead and start creating this. I plan on um, putting some pockets and other things I have made I want to use. But for now, we're going to start with this um, front cover. I wanted to incorporate my love for lace and vintage into this cute, adorable thing. Um, I wonder if I put this up a little higher, how that would look. If it was not ruffled, that would be really cute. But because it's ruffled, I'm not going to do that. However, I may go ahead and do that on this one on the side right here. So I like the idea of a lace. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to use art glitter glue. Uh, let's go ahead and put this little bunny peeking out. Isn't that cute? See, I made that too. We'll go into that. But this kit just caught my eye because it's called, I think it says Easter Parade. I thought it was just so cute, so adorable. I wanted to use it. And um, there wasn't a lot of images in it, honestly. Um, I think there was like maybe four primary like figurines to use and that's it. So if you are trying to create a lot of looks, it's probably not going to work in that way. But I kind of like this. I thought that was pretty cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down. So I'm not going to glue it down really, um, really intact, I guess I should say. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that there for now. Isn't that cute? So I just picked these two colors because I thought the green matched the green. And it, you could see the duck really cute. And I, I like pink, so I had to throw in some pink in there. Okay. So now that I put that on, let's work on this. So some of the things I did, this kit had adorable images. I made a tag with for this one. This I turned into, um, it's going to be a pocket. See, I just used that as a backing. I'm going to glue it on. And then look at this, how cute is that? So the pieces that I put together, this kit had all these words that remind me of those kids' um, flashcards. So, and it had different ones. And here's the rabbit. I'm gonna put that there so you can see it really good. Isn't that cute? I do wanna cut, I wanna cut a hole. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna punch partial hole in it. Actually, I should look the other way. What am I doing? I want to see the image. Let me go ahead and I guess that looks like about half. And if not, I'm okay with it too. Isn't that cute? I'm going to go ahead and glue. So I put a little bit of an extra flap so I could use that to glue. And I'm going to do that here. Okay, there. That makes some more sense. <laughs> All right, okay, isn't that cute, guys? I love that. This, to me, is just so adorable. So that way the little, makes a little gusset here and it's easier to pull things out of. All right, all right, moving along. This little guy right here I thought it was so adorable. Let's work on this side here. 
Now this one, I thought of doing this. Just kind of like a flag. Because look how cute this is. Again, I was attaching, you know, backing it so it's pretty firm. I thought this was really cute. Almost looks like um, a pendant. And let me see where my fabric went. I have all my stuff stashed on the side, guys. Sorry if it's a distraction. Here it is. Let's use this. I'll move that out of the way. Okay. I really like this on here. Isn't that cute? I guess I could cut this a little straighter. Right here. Of course, you know I'm not the straightest cut in the earth. <laughs> All right. So this is, a, again, I've used this before. It's just a remnant of, I don't know, I think it was a tablecloth. And I want to glue this to here to here. I think, I think the colors are really cute. Let's just do that. Let's just do a little bit of a glue down. And I like it facing upwards like that. That pretty. Isn't that cute? I think that is just so sweet. I'm going to go ahead and use Fabri-Tac for this to glue it down as well. Okay. I like to um, glue fabric and paper together because I like to work with paper. But you could print this digital kit or any kit on fabric. Amazon sells fabric uh, that comes in sheets that you can load into your printer. They're a little pricey, but I mean, if you want to do it, um, that's an easy way to do that. And then you can just do anything on fabric. But see, I, I like that. So what I thought about was putting that there. It's raining outside right now. Today it's been raining on and off. It's a good day to stay indoors. This whole weekend I've actually been indoors. At times it's nice just to be home, right? I was supposed to be going to Palo Alto, California today, but that got, or yesterday that got canceled. So right now, here, See, aren't these cute, these old tickets? That could be cute. Maybe a little pocket there. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on just because I think it's adorable. <laughs> no rhyme, no reason, just because it's cute. Okay, I really do need to, I do have a new glue, guys. I found it. But I really kind of want to finish this glue. I'm sorry if it's driving you guys crazy. I'll keep it on its side so it's a little easier. Oh, I got glue. Glooby. Easter. Okay, and where's my other guy? Let's have one, two, I have one more image. These are all the images that came with. So I do have a big egg I could put here. I have this, which I think is cute, Happy Spring. I like that. Here's a little version of that. 
I also thought this could be cute right here. See, these are some of the remainder words that I got. This guy could also have a hat. <laughs> it really comes off the page, but he could have a hat. I still have this little duck. He is backed. Mm, and these are from the old kit that I just used in my last video, which are adorable. And guys, I think I'm going to put this egg here. I think it's really cute. Uh, forget about this glue. No time to move anything. I feel like you can see the Easter Parade better than you can see the spring. Happy spring. What do you guys think? Although I like the white with the white. I'm going to use a happy spring. Cute. That is so adorable. I could put his hat really crooked like that and it could peek up a little bit i'm going to use this because i think it's just so pretty although this might not hold it down real well we'll see let's put that there so i overhung this a little bit let's glue the hat on I do want to use a hat actually. It's just going to be like really far back. I think I'll stick out a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Okay. Look at how cute that is. Okay, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. All right. And I want to finish making this. Basically, I just want to put um, some ribbon on there. What about this pretty pink? Let's just do a little bit. What do you guys think? Is that pretty? Okay. Let me cut that. so adorable this actually is a christmas tag that i found when we're i was cleaning today see in reality i would cover that so you would not see that but for now i'm going to put it in here <laughs> that is so cute here's this little easter guy sticking out a duck and here i am going to use those tickets Let's see what I got. So I still have some. Hold on. There's this Easter parade. Let's fold this. I'm making a little pocket. Maybe this can be the top of the pocket. Okay. So I'm going to cut this. Let's see how big we want to make that. It doesn't have to be all the way across. I'm okay if it's not. So I'm going to make it to cut it to here. And I'll probably cut it to here. I know it's tissue paper and it's really frail, but that's okay because it's my book. <laughs> I think it's so pretty. I love tissue paper. Oh, that's a crooked, crooked, crooked. <laughs> How's everyone doing? How's everyone feeling? I hope they're enjoying their day today. 
It's been a very relaxing day. It's really quiet in my neighborhood, which isn't always the case. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to go ahead and just glue this part here. Okay. Okay, we're cute. Okay, let's glue this down. And let's glue this down. This down. You could remove this piece right there, but I'm okay with it. Okay. Okay. What if I put Easter Parade there? Is that too busy? It feels a little busy. I think that looks cute right there. I also have that in blue. Let me see. Hold on. Hold that thought. Let me see what blue would look like. Oh, blue. It's got to be blue. That looks really cute. Let's cut that part. I'm just going to cut some of this netting that's around the flower. And put it right there. I think that's really pretty. Isn't that cute? The flower there. See how quickly this is to make and it's just so adorable. Bonnet, rabbit. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, look at. He can live there too. You know what, you guys? You know what I found? What I've been talking about? And I bet I have not been able to find. Remember those little ones I said that work for scrunching? Look at little silicone tipped. Isn't that cute? I ran out of glue. Now I got those on Amazon. I want to say they're only like five dollars and I got a bunch of them. Watch. See? Thought that was a good price. I thought they're pretty neat. So just saying, you might uh, pick some up if you like to do this <laughs> like me. This right here is misbehaving. It's misbehaving, I tell you. I'm not used to using this. I'm used to using my fingers. Okay, I'm going to cut this. Let's put a little bit more glue under there and we do that. Considering this is tissue paper down below, I, that's pretty amazing, I think. It could be a disaster, but so far it's doing pretty good. I'm not sure how this glue will hold because I'm used to using a fabric glue for something like this. But we'll see. So far, it looks okay. Isn't that pretty? I like that a lot. And I'm thinking, hmm, we need to put something in the center, but I'm not sure what. Stir it is. And I'm going to use my fabric tack instead. Okay.
glue on it. That is my dilemma with using fabric tack. I do tend to get glue all over, but since I'm not a perfectionist, I am actually okay with that. That cute or what? I think I actually want to put, oh, those flowers are cute. We're doing the flowers. I like the flowers. Okay. Just gonna put a line of glue down here. Whoop. Can never tell which way they go, but I think it's this way. Make sure I give room for it to close. Yeah, it's a little too much. Cute, right? So this little flower is going to get chopped right there. Okay. Ribbon on here. Make them look like little tags. Let's see what I got. There's this. That's really pretty. I like this a lot. Go ahead and turn this <coughs> turn this into a little tag. Should I do it this way? I guess this way, huh? I'm gonna trim this. So that way I can just open this loop, put these little tails in there. Wrap it. Isn't that cute? Should I put green? I'm thinking I might do green for the next one. Another hole. Here. See this pretty green right here? And I still plan to make my Easter bag treats that I always do every year. Although this year, I'm not seeing really any family for Easter. Um, I want to make sure I stay healthy. I'm going to be helping my sister. And her immunity level will be zero. So I want to make sure that I am well. Right? Um, that's what you do when you're taking care of someone. you got to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. So this Easter, it'll be me and my sister, Diana, on our own. But I'm still looking forward to the day because this Easter is about the reason, right? Um, and as much as I love ducks and chicks and all these fun, cute, adorable things, I know that Easter has a different meaning. This is the meaning. It's the resurrection of Jesus Christ who died and rose again on the third day. And Easter is the day that we celebrate that resurrection. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to make sure everyone knew that I believe in, I believe in the real reason for Easter. I love the chicks. I love the, <laughs> the bunny rabbits and the cute factor, but I do want to put that out there. Just saying is all. Okay, so. There's my little folio, and here's this little tag right here, this little guy. I feel like this is, you know, I think I need to do the same thing on this tag. Hold on. Let's see, I'm trying to take this apart. If I really wanted to, to last, I would have used an eyelet, but... This is just a fun little project. I'm just enjoying myself. There. That is so cute. I love that. That is my project for today. Quick, simple, cute, adorable. It is a little folio for Easter. You can add different things. If you want to, I just use stuff from this kit. A 
All right, guys, that's it. It's a real fun, quick little project. Um, I think it's very cute. I think this would be adorable to give to somebody on Easter morning, especially a kid or a kid at heart, which is someone like me. And um, you can fill it up with other things besides just this Easter paper that I put in there. Anyhow, I hope everyone has a wonderful, blessed day and a wonderful week. And I will be talking to you soon. Thank you.